Hello, Billy. Glad you were able to make it. What are you so anxious to see me about, Dave? Come up to my room where we can talk. Wasn't that Billy Carson that just rode up? Yeah. I wonder what he's got to do with it. Dave, what's it all about? I've got a job for you, Billy. A job? <laughs> if I hired, I thought you were a friend of mine. I don't think you'll find a work too hard for your delicate constitution. <laughs> now, this map shows the route the railroad has decided upon. Oh, it runs right through Red Rock, huh? Mm-hmm. It makes Fuzzy happy. Who's Fuzzy? Fuzzy Jones, you remember, my old partner? The old Fuzz likes to be important. He's the big noise of that little one-horse town of Red Rock. The railroad going through there, it'll start a boom. So we have to find someone we can trust to buy a right-of-way through here at a fair price before anyone learns about the railroad. That's why I sent for you. I'd like to help you, Dave. I, I'm no good at dickering for land. Someone wasn't there. Oh, I guess there's nothing to get excited about. Well, what do you say, Billy? Will you take the job? Kind of out of my line, Dave. I'm no good at horse trading. Say, hey, listen, I've got an idea. Fuzzy's the man that you want. He's honest. You can trust him. He's right there on the ground. Sounds all right to me. Oh, Fuzzy's sure going to be happy with that new job of his. through his pockets and find the key to this satchel. And I don't know who killed Dave, but I think I know why. There was a map in this satchel. It isn't here now. I have a good idea where that murderer will be heading. So 
I suppose someone's found Hanley by this time. Well, what if they have? He won't be able to tell who shot him. Well, boys, we hit the jackpot this time. We're moving right in on Red Rock. Come on. disturbing the peace and interfering with me and my work. And I know doggone well you're guilty. So I find you five dollars. 
But it's just up. I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you were going to. Now, give me the five. Have you got change for ten dollars? Ten dollars, huh? No, I made a mistake. The fine is ten dollars. Now get out of here. Behave yourself. Nick. Do that. Get back in the chair. Thanks. Next. I said next. Hi, Fuzzy. Hi, Faye. Uh, sit down. You're next. How's everything? Not bad. Make me beautiful, Fuzzy. I got some high-powered sparking to do. That bad Darcy can sure make a man give out with sparks. <laughs> you know, I've been reading up on the marriage ceremony, <clears throat> hoping I'd have a chance to use it pretty soon. You and me both. I got her past Nona, maybe. She kind of shies away from yes. <laughs> <laughs> Says Red Rock's kind of coming to life. Yeah, and strangers bought Pop Turner's saloon, making a gambling house out of it. Gambling house? Yeah. Uh, they can't do that without my say so. Well, where are you going? I'll be right back. Well, look. Oh, take it easy. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, but I got to... Uh, pack this up and get out of here. There ain't nobody open up a gamble place around here without my face up. You know, for a little man, you open your mouth too wide. Yeah, when I open my mouth, I say something. When I say something, I mean it. Don't you ever get tired of doing that? Uh, no, this is my way of working up an appetite. Well, that ought to take care of him. Of busting in here like that? Oh, I was just passing by and your boy started to play a little rough. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Well, it could be. Lots of people have seen me. I've been around. I ain't made up my mind about you in this outfit. But I'm going to think it over. Yeah. Fuzzy can do some plenty high and fancy thinking when he wants to. I imagine he can. We'll be open soon. Drop in if you feel lucky and give us a whirl. I might do that. Well, you're going to be a barber? Stop jumping around like a flea on a hot griddle? Oh, I'll keep your shirt on. I'm a busy man. Oh, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Billy Carson. Howdy. This is Clay Kincaid. He's a nice fellow, but flies off the handle a little too easy. <laughs> oh, uh, I wonder if he's drowned. Hey, wake up. I said, wake up. 
scrub yourself and get out. Not hang around here like a hippopotamus. The next time you take a bath, put your spurs on. Uh, well, you just said that on the spur of the moment, didn't you? Hey, Fudge, what are you doing in your spare time? I'm a doctor. You're a what? Horse doctor. Now, we've got to have this part of the Kincaid Ranch. That's the key to the whole valley. Well, do we buy them out or run them off? I don't know. I'll have to see how things work out. I'm sure glad you happened along when you did. But, uh, what brings you out here to our neck of the woods? Oh, I just dropped in to see what you had. You're looking for excitement. Came to the wrong place. Maybe I can stir up some of my own excitement. There's plenty of sweet smelling stuff you have here, Fudge. Kind of different than what you find around the Brandon Trail. Yeah. Some of the scenery is mighty easy on the eye. Howdy, Miss Babs. I'm glad to see you. Hello, Fuzzy. My horse lost a shoe. Would you fix it for me? Well, now, I'm a pretty busy man. Even if I was twins, I... There wouldn't be enough of me. <clears throat> Maybe Billy can help us out. Hey, hey Billy. Uh, Miss Beth, Dorothy, you're uh, Billy Carson. How do you do? I'm glad to meet you. I can do that job for you, Miss Beth. I'd be glad to. Well, that's very kind of you. My horse is outside. Goodbye, Fudge. And Billy gives every female heart a flutter. When they look at him, they get a light in their eyes. Very it? interesting. Oh, don't worry about Billy. He'll never settle down. Well, they ain't worth a dime a dozen to him. How do you know he won't change his mind? Uh, he... Uh, he, he wouldn't do that to me. No. You don't need all this range land. I'll give you a good price for it and the privilege of driving your cattle across it any time you want to. I told you before I'm not selling an acre. I don't need any cash. Oh, all right. If that's the way you feel about it, that's the way it is. Say, I'm open for business. Drop in any time you feel lucky. This is the boundary between our range and the Kinbade Ranch. Say, that's Clay Kincaid over there. Who's that with him? I don't know. He doesn't look familiar. idea. Starting a fight in front of a lady is no way to act. I didn't know I didn't quarrel with him. But it makes me sort of mad when he rides up on a horse and knocks me down. You stay away from Babs. You're going to have plenty of quarrel with me. I'll take my own friends without asking for your permission. I know all about him. He thinks he's a rip-snorting lady killer. Who gave you that information? From a guy that's known you for a long time. Fuzzy Jones. Fuzzy. I'm going to have to wash his mouth out with some of his own shaving soap. Don't get the idea that you're my boss. But I never want to see you again if you can't act like a gentleman. Would you mind taking me home? Yes, ma'am. Be glad to.
You know, a woman is just like a spirited horse. You can't handle them with a tight rein. satisfied with it. You know, I may be a little dumb, but whatever gave you the idea that a one-horse town like Red Rock could support the kind of a layout you've got here? You know, I like to open up a place where there's no competition. And when the town grows, I'm sitting pretty. Oh, sounds like good sense to me. And whatever gave you the idea that the town would grow? 
I don't like to have people too curious about my business. I'm sorry if I seem nosy. I didn't mean to be. Your bad. My last 50. I'll see you. What do you got? Two pair of aces up. Oh, good. Three eights. Please, me. Will you take my IOU? You'll have to talk to Steve. Well, I just dropped in to get acquainted. I'm going out and look some of the games over. Maybe I can take some of your money. Well, you're welcome to try. That's what I'm here for. Am I good for 500? Right, sure. This might got an IOU. you. Okay. You know, I figured out a foolproof way of beating this game, but something's going wrong someplace. <laughs> Let's get that 500. Okay. What's up, Steve? I think we'd better do something about Carson. He's showing too much curiosity about things that are none of his business. Yeah, and I owe him something for nearly breaking my jaw. Well, it's more than a broken jaw that I have in mind for him. Well, I don't like the interest he showed when he found one of these broken matches in front of the bar. He acted like it was important. Give me another stack of chips there. That'll cost you 25. I got a call. King High Street. Hey, look, my luck's bad enough without you chasing me. Go stand someplace else, will you? There's no reason for you to act like that. Now you calm down, Clay King K, or I'm gonna put you in calaboose. I ain't having no fighting in this town. Well, keep this fellow away from me, then. Have it that way if you like. Anybody's privileged to make a fool of themselves. Yeah. Now, I said calm down. I ain't staff for no fighting. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Ken Cade turned out to be a lot of help to us. You know, Fudge, everything points to one man. I've got to find out whether Steve Landro has a certain map in his possession. Oh, why don't you ask him? Rock's always been a calm and peaceable place, and I aim to keep it that way. But I got a feeling that something's brewing. Oh. Howdy, Miss Babb. Fuzzy, I'm worried about Clay. They tell me he's gambling like a crazy man and has already lost more than he can afford. Can't you do something? Well, he's always been a stubborn cut and wouldn't accept advice if... Maybe if you talk to him... I then. won't talk to him. Not until after he's apologized for the way he acted. Well, maybe I can talk some sense into him. Or... I'll try. Oh, thanks, Fuzzy. I hope you can. Even if we're not friends anymore, I hate to see Clay make a fool of himself. That's why I don't like gamblers. They can sit there and take the shirt off a man's back and think nothing of it. Oh, never mind the sermon. We don't drag anyone in and make them play. And we can go out the door any time they feel like it. Hey! What'd you do? What'd you do? Uh, just didn't never mind. There's a new soap, you know, it's slippery. I, I dropped my razor down. Oh, <laughs> back here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, don't wiggle around so much. Uh, I'll find it. If you cut me with that razor and ruin my clothes, I'll blast you wide open. Hey, don't wiggle around so much. Don't have it out. Just get it. Get it. I got it. I got it. Oh, still. Oh, oh, still. Take it easy now. Yeah, I got it. You cut me. There you are. Not a ripper or a scratch. <laughs> Lucky for you. 
Come up over here. Sit down. You're next. <laughs> what happened to him, Fudge? Oh, I, I dropped my razor down in the back of his neck, and when I went to fish it out, I, I sort of had an accident. <laughs> hey, well, you stop me hawing like a half-witted burrow. Maybe you'll tell me how you've been making out. Uh, uh, not so good, Fudge. Afraid I'm going to have to do a little job of burglarizing. Burglarizing? Uh -huh. Well, I can't stand for that. I've got to pull the wall. All right, all right. I'll hide your marshal badge before I start. Is that your idea of a joke? Well, I'll give you something to laugh about. <laughs> a long way to get yourself into trouble, mister. You heard what I said. Hey, calm down. There's no cause for all this. I'm thinking different. Take a look at my coat. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an accident. He'll make it good. He'd better, or I'll take it out of his hide. You can give this back to your friend. Tell him he better be careful. He might get in a lot of trouble. Now go on, beat it. You know, uh, Clay Kincaid's been losing a lot of money lately. I noticed that. Also noticed he was up against a lot of fancy dealing. Why did you put him wise? I had that in mind, but he wasn't what you'd call right friendly. How can you help a man when he's always swinging at your jaw all the time? Hey, what's the matter? Don't you like our bath? No, it's too lonesome in there. Come in. Uh, hello, Kincaid. Did you come in to settle up? Nope, not exactly. Well, what do you mean, not exactly? I haven't that much cash on hand, but I'll make it good. Well, you can settle the debt right now by deeding me that piece of property I wanted. Not on your life. I'm not chopping up my ranch. And I'm not in business to collect these autographs. I let you play on the cuff, and I expect you to pay off. You know, I have a way of taking care of a welcher. Be careful who you call a welcher. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put that property up as security that you get your money. That's fair enough. I suppose we'll put that in writing. Okay with me. Well, let's have the judge draw it up nice and leave. Maybe you like it wrapped in pink ribbon. I'll get along without the ribbon. killed Dave Ham. He stole a map from his grip. I have an idea I'll find that map in Steve Landro's office. Hiya, Bad. You know the old saying, unlucky at cards, lucky in love. Doesn't seem to pan out in your case. Yeah? I hear that Billy Carson's got a reading right out of his hand. I'm not interested in what you hear. I could start something sometime and not be bothered or finish it. All right, I'm coming. What do you want? Got a 
legal job for you. Pardon me, Your Honor. Now, uh, all right. Who's done what to who? I'm putting up part of my ranch for security for the money I owe Landrew. Uh, Clay, are you in your right mind? Look, I didn't ask you for your opinion. Just make out the papers. will keep you happy though my luck changes. Thanks. I wouldn't count too much in the change of luck if I were you. Hey, calm yourself, Clay. There won't be any gunplay, not just now. Look, you hung around long enough. Now it's time for you to move on. That just happens to be your opinion. I'm backing up my opinion. Now make tracks or eat smoke. If I see you around here tomorrow, start shooting. Seems like you're going to be kept busy for a while. Not very. What are we going to do about Clay? What do you expect me to do? He called the play. Oh, I know Clay is hot-tempered and flies off the handle easy, but he's a nice fella. A nice fella can kill you just as dead as anybody else. Gus. You two boys lock up. I'm leaving. All right. Good night, Steve. Good night. drink any more of that stuff or you'll be seeing things. Quiet! 
it was. It was dark in here, and he moved too fast for me to get a good look at him. What was he after? I don't know. What's the matter, boys? Been having trouble? I heard gunfire. Gee, they sure tore things up around here, didn't they? You wouldn't be knowing anything about it, would you? Me? Why should I know anything about it? I'm asking you the questions, you answer them. Maybe you thought I was fooling when I told you to keep your nose out of my business. Could be that you're nervous about something and just imagine that I'm interested in your business. You know, I could imagine that you had a very fatal accident. And well, that would take a pretty strong imagination. Because I've always been lucky about not having any accidents. You could overplay your luck. Hey, 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 hey. Look, who, who's shooting around here? Shooting's all over, Fudge. I guess we'd better be going. We can't fool with Carson any longer. He's got to be put out of the way. What you said, Kincaid's anxious to take the job off our hands. Oh, Kincaid hasn't got a chance with Carson. Unless we help him. Hey, we might finish Kincaid at the same time. I've got the mortgage. You can take over the property just as soon as he's dead. Yeah, I'd like to know who was here and what he was after. Hey, maybe it was Kincaid. You sure made a mess of things at the start. You didn't have to have a gun in my face. I didn't know who it was. I left you here asleep. Well, you should know whose face it is before you start popping guns into it. I nearly got myself all shot up trying to help you out and all for nothing. You're wrong about that, Buzz. Thanks to you, we did it the hard way. But I saw Landro put a paper in his pocket. I'm sure it's a map I'm looking for. Oh, why didn't we grab him then and there? Because I didn't want to run into a gunfight with the odds against us. I'm going to take him alive. How about a shave? This time of night? Why not? All right. Get in the chair. You know, Landro's going to be nervous about that map, Fuzz. He's going to keep it in his pocket. He's going to wait my chance to get him alone and sneak him out of town before his gang gets wise. I'll save a lot of bloodshed. Hey, Fuzz. Yeah? You know, I'm worried about Clay Kincaid. I don't want to hurt the crazy fool, and I don't want him taking pot shots at me. It's going to be your job to keep that fellow out of town. I reckon I can handle that all right. I don't know, but whoever it was didn't stick around. Looks like we started something, Fudge. Is that good? No, not very. Stand by. You know what to do. I'll get Kincaid and keep him here until Carson shows up. You run into something this time he's not looking for. that kind of a package. You know, I never was engaged to Clay Kincaid. He had no right to act as though I belonged to him. You can't 
Hang a man for hoping. But some men seem to be afraid to hope for some reason or another. You gotta you got come with me and help me catch a wrestler. You must be dreaming. There hasn't been a wrestler in this valley for 20 years. No? Uh, well, there may be. You can help me hunt, can't you? Look, I don't want to play any games. I got serious business in town. Oh. Take more than you to stop me. Now, I'm going to sit right here until you promise me you'll go home and stay there. What's going on? <laughs> What's the idea? Trying to keep me going to town. Oh, I'm not surprised. Carson was saying that you'd talk big, but you wouldn't show up in town. Yeah? He doesn't know how wrong he is. be leaving you now, Miss Babs. I got to see a man about a murder. Talk yourself out of this. Now get going. Miss Vance, have you, have you seen Clay? Well, sure. He's in the saloon. Oh, brother. You worked yourself up into a lavish and caden all over nothing. And you're being played here for a sucker. I don't want any trouble with you. But I'm not going to let you stand in the way of a job I came here to do.
bit, fella. This is gonna hang you. You'll be all right. I just sent for a doctor. Oh, Clay. You hurt bad. him up and now he's just as good as new. all shot up but Babs and Clay back together again. <laughs> but that ain't my way of courting. I guess you don't know what I want. I'll have to try some other place. Two of the finest men that ever lived, and he don't like them. Hey, Fudge. Fudge, come in here.
Isn't this a cute way to finish a story? 